If this is your first time tuning in here on this channel, we talk about film, fashion, and photography, all three things that I love. My name is David Wilson II, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the A5 Atlas in Navy by Bayer Watches. Let's talk about it. When Bayer first reached out for me to do a video on their watch, I was a little skeptical, if I'm being honest, simply because I just had never heard of Bayer watches uh, in general. Immediately upon rocking this uh, watch, I was able to integrate it pretty seamlessly with everything that I wear, whether it be blue, black, uh, green, it didn't really matter. This watch between the navy blue, uh, face and actually the navy blue actually looks more black majority of the time and it's not until the sunlight hits the face of my watch where you can actually see that it is navy and that's a cool feature about it and i love the subtleness of it i love the fact that i can pair this with a denim a suit jacket uh pretty much everything that i was wearing i mean like literally right now this it just looks good on everything now Vera was nice enough to send over the premium bracelet now it does not come with the premium uh steel bracelet it does come with a leather bracelet that you can just pretty much wear right out of the box uh the bracelet is 70 dollars in addition to the watch uh I prefer the steel bracelet over the rubber just simply because it just fits more of my everyday style of wear. Um, but for anybody who's looking for um, a watch like this, it does have interchangeable wristbands. So you're, so you're able to go on their website and see all the different types of um, bands that they have to be able to, you know, change up your uh, the look of your watch um, and customize it to whatever you pretty much like. Now the Japanese Miata movements, they are not battery powered. And what's cool about it is they're actually powered through your movements. So you actually moving around, wearing the watch on a consistent basis actually helps power uh, and wind up the gears that are inside of the watch. Uh, now this is all according to Vare. They said that it can power it up to 42 hours of reserve power for you to uh, wear your watch and, and it stays on time. Um, I did have a few scenarios where you know the watch did stop on me because i just didn't at the time i didn't wear it every single day and i was wondering why it was stopping on me but um now that i wear it consistently it does give a true 42 hours of power reserve i found that i can go about a day and a half um, or a little bit over a day and a half without wearing it before the watch actually does stop so you actually do need to wear the watch for it to stay powered otherwise you would have to wind it yourself um which is which isn't a good or a bad thing. I think it's cool that I don't have to replace a battery every time my, my watch battery dies. I think that's the cool part, but um, it did get annoying at first, but I did, um, I did get used to it. So if that's something that you're into or you like uh, or don't care about, uh, I think that this would be a good fit for for you now in terms of the quality uh, i was actually presently surprised that Vare watches is actually made out of good quality and it's actually assembled here in the usa i believe their parts are japanese parts or at least made internationally and then they're shipped to the us where they're assembled but i was actually surprised just in the overall the quality i mean the way that i <laughs> the way that i tested my watch's quality is just by shaking it and anytime that i shake a watch or just shake my wrist and i can hear the components moving around or i can just hear a watch because it's just moving too much. I don't know. That's just the way that I tested. And I know that's not like a scientific or an accurate way to test, but I don't want to watch it sounds cheap or that's clinky, or you can hear the components inside the watch moving around. For me, um, just the overall feel of the watch, the stainless steel, all of it, uh, you, it's made out of good quality. And I think anybody who purchases this middle of the road type of watch, um, uh, you're going to get a good watch that's going to last. So, I'm but that's pretty much it, y'all. I really enjoyed this watch. Uh, I don't really have anything bad to say. I think the only thing that I would um, say is that the fact that, you know, my watch kept stopping on me because I wasn't wearing it. But if you're a person who wears watches all the time and every day and you're able to wind it, it will keep the time. I'm going to continue to wear this watch on a consistent basis because I like the watch a lot. Um, and so, yeah. So thank you to Vare for sponsoring this video. Appreciate you for uh, considering me with only... 500 and some odd subscribers that's one thing like i never thought a year ago you know even though i only have you know a less than a thousand subscribers that a sponsor would be willing to 
to reach out but what's cool is i guess cool content beats subscriptions and subscribers any day so appreciate y'all anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video my name is david wilson the second and as always start your day with giving because way too many people take i'm out y'all so nothing